Big news with the White Sox. They have let loose manager Pedro Griffel. The team's 29-89 record says it all. Assistant coach Grady Sizemore has been named interim manager. The search for the next team manager starts right now. The news comes one day before the South Side will host the Cubs tomorrow night. This is what White Sox GM Chris Getz had to say about what's next for the Sox. Grady is a, a very strong, steady voice um, that, that we look forward to, to having uh, you know, as, the, as the manager to finish off this season. Um, we do plan on targeting uh, individuals for the manager position that are in other organizations, but yet uh, in uniform. Um, so the expectation is to hire someone outside of the White Sox. And don't forget about the Crosstown Classic. First pitch is at 7-10 tomorrow. Jamison Tyone will start for the Cubs, and we'll get to see Garrett Crochet with the Sox. The Cubs are slight favorites, but batting against Garrett Crochet is no easy task. And it's an exciting time to be a Bears fan. Caleb Williams will be starting the preseason game this weekend. Matt Eberflus said Williams and the starters will get some action, but he couldn't give an exact snap count or time. Kickoff is at noon Saturday against the Bills. And this is what Coach Eberflus had to say about Caleb looking to get his first taste in the National Football League. We see uh, now where he is in terms of the progress. You know, and this is his first time in, in live action. Um, he's been getting a lot of good reps with our one defense, so I think he'll, it'll feel similar to him. Uh, but I really feel that uh, when it's live there in the pocket, to be able to move, maneuver in the pocket, ride the pocket, escape either on the outside, B-gaps, all those things, and be able to deliver the ball, keep your eyes downfield. And Packers head coach Matt LaFleur announced that Jordan Love and the starters will play against the Browns. Similar to the Bears situation, there's no exact play count for the starters. Coach LaFleur mentioned that last year's impressive Week 1 win over the Bears was partially due to the starters playing in the preseason. And don't forget, Packers fans, we've got Packers preseason action against the Browns coming your way on Saturday. That'll be a 325 start on Fox 39. The pregame show starts at 3 o'clock. Rally blows a kiss to the viewers as the Rivets held their final home game of the regular season before hosting a playoff game Monday. The screws were hot early. First inning bases loaded and Cade Zawinski draws the walk to bring in TJ Williams for the first run scored. The next batter, Daniel Contreras, would fly out to right field to bring in another runner. Still in the first inning, only one out. Morgan Wyatt up next. He'll bloop this one to center field, and it drops between the center fielder and the infield to continue the first inning slaughter. Rivets score another run, and like I said, the screws are hot heading into the playoffs. They scored six runs in just the first inning. Traverse City scored a run in the ninth, but the Rivets win 15-1. That's sports. We'll be right back.